Hey guys, what's going on? Anthony here with Pistons Talk. I know there's not much news going around for your Detroit Pistons. We really don't know what draft pick they will get. We have to wait until August 25th to see what pick we will be drafting at, right? We didn't get invited to the NBA bubble. We were officially eliminated from the bubble. Uh, there are talks about the Pistons maybe potentially doing kind of a scrimmage type of bubble thing in Chicago in September. Uh... No real update on that yet, but I'll be sure to make a video if we do get some updates with the second bubble. But I wanted to bring you guys some Detroit Pistons content today, and I happened to come across this video of DeMarcus Cousins. Now, I had no idea in the 2010 NBA draft, DeMarcus Cousins could have been a Detroit Piston. And you're probably thinking, what are you talking about? I want you guys to watch this video. Uh, was there, was your agent or anybody telling you where you thought you was going to go or was it always Sacramento? Well, at the time, my, at the time agent, he actually wanted me to go to the Pistons, which were two spots. They were, they had the seventh pick. I was the fifth pick. They had the seventh pick. So they, they wanted me to go to the Pistons, which is crazy. Because, I mean, lo thinking long term or whatever the case may be, I guess it can make sense, but as to why he would want me to drop in the draft, I don't know. But So after listening to that video with DeMarcus Cousins, it got me thinking. You guys probably know that he signed a one-year deal with the Lakers, and he's going to be an unrestricted free agent. And I did make a video prior about centers the Detroit Pistons could target, and Cousins was one of my centers I did have on my list because I thought the reward uh, would be worth it because it's kind of like a low risk high reward situation if you were to go after Cousins given his injury history and the guy's only 29 years old a lot of people have just written him off that you know the guy's washed and he has nothing left in the tank and I don't believe that I think he can still play and when he was playing with the Golden State Warriors you guys he was still putting up some pretty good stats in the 2018-19 season. He was putting up 16, 8, and 3. Given he, he was only playing like around 25 minutes a game. Do I think it's plausible that your Detroit Pistons could target him in free agency? I do. Given the Detroit Pistons front office track record over the past couple of seasons. Uh, they went out and signed Derrick Rose last year in free agency. Given his injury history. And, like I said, it was a low-risk, high-reward situation with Derrick Rose, and it paid off. They tried to do the same thing with Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson was out of the league, and they go out and sign him, and, you know, he hurt his Achilles. And, ultimately, we chose Christian Wood, which was the right choice. But, again, that was a low-risk, high-reward situation. Cousins, to me, fits in that same kind of category. He's a low-risk, high-reward situation type of player right now because let's say DeMarcus Cousins is maybe 60% of the player he once was. If you look at the centers in free agency, outside of Montrez Harrell, you have a lot of guys that are older and go, probably going to cost you a lot of money if you're the Detroit Pistons. You could probably get away with throwing Cousins under $10 million to come to your team. To me, I believe the risk is well worth the reward for DeMarcus Cousins, but I want to know what you guys think. Do you believe the Detroit Pistons should target DeMarcus Cousins in free agency? Let me know down in the comment section. I'm going to talk to you guys down there.